All right, welcome everybody to Yoga Sculpt. Let's jump right into class. Uh, we can be put at the top of your space. As always, we're gonna find our way to a tabletop right away. Let's find those shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Just start to warm up the body nice and easy. Take a couple big breaths. You start to find some back out. Moving through the spine a few times. As we take a few more, if you want to add in some other variations, maybe a little circling around of your head and your tail. And returning back to our tabletop, we're going to take the left leg straight back behind us, press out through that heel, and take a few passes of rocking forward and back. Maybe you pause, pressing that heel towards the floor, finding a stretch. And making sure shoulders are back over our wrist. Floating that left leg, reaching right hand forward, find that balance and breathe, fire up the core. And returning just our hand back to the floor. We're going to spin open, finding a modified side plank. Keep lifting that left leg. Keep reaching your left arm towards the ceiling. Draw that bicep towards the ear. Take an inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to crunch elbow and knee drawing in. Inhale, reach straight out. Exhale, bend, crunch it in. Couple more, reach out. And crunch. Stretch out. And crunch, last two, out, and crunch, one more, out, and crunch, reaching back out. Return back to our tabletop and switch out, so right toes behind us. Take those few passes of stretch. Shoulders back over wrist, floating the right leg, reach the left hand forward. Holding that balance. Bringing just the left hand down, we'll spin open, modified side plank, holding that right leg. Reach the right fingertip to the ceiling, and then draw that arm towards our ear, reach out. On the exhale, elbow and knee crunch in. Inhale, reach out. Crunch it in, hold everything else, reach long. And in. Press up. Bring it in two more times, reach. Bring it in one more, reach. And in, reach out. Come back to tabletop. We'll tuck our toes, sending the hips up and back, taking a down dog. Take that down dog for a walk, pedaling the feet. Now we'll take both heels high, come forward to a high plank, lower knees and shins together, chin and chest lower, press back up, high plank, hips high, down dog, high plank, knees lower together, take your time, elbows in, lower down, press up, high plank, down dog, again, high plank, knees lower, Elbows in, lower chest, press up, high plank, and down dog. From here, walk those feet up to our hands. Nice wide stance. You can grab for the elbows. A little sway side to side, or nod the head, gently yes. Or shake it no. Taking a nice bend into our knees, we'll sweep the right fingertips high, finding a twist. And release, switch out, opening the left hand. And release. 
Bring those feet closer together. From here, we're just gonna step our left foot back. Bring the hands to our hips, come all the way up, finding a lunge. Take just a couple pulses up and down, keeping that front knee more bent. You're really charging and lifting through that back heel. Pulsing here for eight, for seven, for six, for five, squeezing legs together, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna bring our hands down, step back to a high plank, lower the knees and shins, elbows in, we're gonna push up lower, press up, again, lower down, come up and lower, press up two more times, down and up, one more, and up, tuck the toes, high plank, press back, down dog, Bringing feet up to our hands again, taking that wide stance. Take a few breaths, hang over. Sweeping those right fingertips up, take that twist. Release, switch, open the left hand. Release, feet can come closer together. This time, right foot steps back. Long legs, hands to our hips, come all the way up. Start to take that pulse, pressing through our back heel. Squeeze the legs together, front knee staying more bent as we pulse. Here for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing hands down, finding high plates, lower knees and shin. Elbows in, we'll push up down. Press up, down, and up, three more. Press up, for two, and one. Tuck the toes, high plank, press right back down, duck. Walking feet up to our hands, right away as we come up, we'll find our weights. Come all the way up to stand. From here, we're gonna step that left foot back. Heel stays lifted. Now from here, goal post the arm, bring it in and out. Now tap that back knee, tap, press up, down, and up. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring those weights in, spin the feet open. We're gonna turn right away to the back, finding your lunge. This time we're gonna press our arms towards the ceiling. Press up, return. Now as you press, you can tap that knee, come back up. Press and up. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, we're gonna spin those feet back open this time, heels in, toes out. You can take a moment, shift a little side to side. Arms are gonna be down, we're gonna bicep curl, bend both knees and stretch. Down, come up, chest stays lifted. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. We'll turn all the way back to the front. Bring the weight down. Step back, finding high planks. Hold here in this high plank and breathe. We're going to add toe tap. Step out and in. Alternating feet. Out and in. Out. Here we go for eight, seven, six. Chest stays lifted, five, four, three, two, one. Holding high plank, press right back into down dog. From here, we're gonna bring those feet up to our hands, taking our folds, finding our weights, come right up to stand, stepping our right foot back. Same thing, goal post the arms. They're gonna draw in. 
and open. You can start to tap your knee. Press up, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the weights in, turn all the way to the back. Find that lunge. Same thing, this time those arms stretch up and down. Tap your knee, come up. Here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn back open. Again, heels and toes out. Arms are down, bicep curls we bend. Stretch up, down. Come up here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We'll come to the front, step our feet up, step back, find your high plank. This time our fingertips out, tap in, out, and in. Just the hands. Fingertips out or float the arm. Straight out. Here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding high plank. Press back, take our down dog. From here, walk those feet all the way up and through. We're going to take a seat, finding our weight. We're going to come on to our backs as we come down. Float those feet parallel to the floor and the ceiling. Arms straight up towards the ceiling. Take the arms overhead. Bring them back up. Overhead. Hold the legs strong. Up. Here for eight. Bring them up. For seven. For six. Back up. For five, bring them up. Four, and up. Three, and up. For two, and up. Last time, and up. Weights in, plant those feet to the floor. We're gonna bring our arms to our side, bend the elbows. We're gonna bridge as we press the arms up. Lower everything back down. Bridge up. Lower down. Eight. And lower. Seven. Down. Four, six. And down. Five. Down. Four. And down. Three. Lower down. Four, two. And down. Last time. Lower down this time, bring the weight up towards the ceiling. Bend those knees, float those shins parallel again. This time we're gonna stretch the legs out, bring your arms out to the side, hold, back in. Press and hold, bring it in. Here for eight, together. Seven, together. Six, together. Five, Together, four, together here, just four, three, together, two, together, and one, together. You can bring those weights in, either bring them down to your side, or you can try to hold them. Maybe take a few racks and rolls through your spine. We're going to work our way back up. Weights to the top of our mat. Come right back into down dog. Stretch everything out. From here, we're going to just send those right toes behind us. Float that leg high. Now hold that leg. Shift forward. High plank. Tap those toes down. Lift that right leg. Press back up. Using our hamstrings, shift forward. Tap those toes. Lift back up. One more time. Shift forward. Tap. Right leg high. This time, bring your knee towards your nose. Step through low lunge. Finding our weights, we're going to come up. Send those arms down. Keep your chest forward. Row and down. Up 
And now here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your chest forward, out and down. Wingspan for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to bring the weights down to their highest point. Shift forward. We're going to bend the both knees. Tap and sink your hips low. Kick back out. Bend and tap. Kick out. Here we go for eight. Kick out. For seven. Kick out. Six. And out. Five. Kick out. Four. Out. Last three. Kick it out. For two. Kick it out. And one. Kick out. Step that left foot back. Bring your weights with you. We're going to come all the way up. Spin to the back. Finding your lunge. Arms are down. Chest forward. Row. And down. Squeeze. Here. Four. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to keep our chest forward, swing those arms back and down like a pendulum and down for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, Two, one. Now our weights come down to their highest point. Shift forward. Bend both knees. Sink and slow. Tap. Kick it out. Sink down. Kick it out. For eight. And up. Seven. For six. Kick it out. For five. And out. Four. Out. Three. Kick it out. Four, two, kick it out. One, as we kick out, step that right foot back, bring the weights with you, come all the way up. Turn back to the front, weights down, feet together, taking a forward fold, then step back to your high plank. Right hand underneath our shoulder. Spin open, find a side plank. You can be here on both feet and pulse the hips, or feel free to come down to both knees and shins and pulse here. Pressing your hips high, so either on the shins or keep the legs straight and pulse, and pulse. Six, five, four, other side, and three, two, one. Find your way through your high planks if you need to, to take the other side. Or again, on both shins, start to pulse. Find your pulse. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, high plank, two, one. Find your way to your high plank, hold. Press right back into down dog, taking a breath. From here, we're going to stretch that left leg. Huh? Pull that leg as you shift forward to plank. Tap those toes down. Lift through your left hamstring, reach back up. Shift forward. Tap your toe, left hamstring up. One more, shift, tap the toe, stretch, lift up. Now bend the knee through, low lunge. Finding our weights to come up one last time. This time, bring your arms up to that goal post. We're gonna press in, up, in, and open. In, press up, in, and open here for eight. Four, seven, in and open, six, and open, four, five, and open, last three, in and open, two, and open, one, 
and open. Bring those weights down highest point. We're going to send that right leg up. Now squeeze your heel to your hip. Kick it out. And squeeze. Kick it out. Here, eight. Seven. Six. We'll pulse in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we're going to bend that right knee and then kick your foot high. And pulse. And pulse. Four, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Send that right leg back. Bring the weights up. Turn all the way to the back. Finding your lunge. Arms are down. We're going to lift up. And down. Lift and down. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing those weights to their highest point. Come forward, bend that knee and kick. Squeeze, extend for eight. Seven, six, pulse in five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bend that knee and pulse. Press up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, step that left foot back, bring the weights all the way up, turn back to the front, weights down, find your way to your high plank, one more, side plank, stay on your feet or on your shins, we take that pulse, and pulse, here we go for eight, seven, six, five, we'll switch in, four, three, two, one, move through to the other side, pulse, and pulse for eight, seven, six, high plank in five, four, three, two, one, finding high plank, try to hold and breathe, here only for five, four, three, we'll lower our shins in two, Slowly lower those knees and shins down. Find your way to tabletop. Take a moment in child's pose, maybe. Or stay in that tabletop. Find a couple movements. Find a few big breaths as you need. Once you feel ready, you can return yourself to a seat. We're going to find one weight so the other one can just move off just using one weight onto our back as we get there whatever you need to then plant those feet towards the floor we're going to take a weight we're going to squeeze it between the legs feet are going to come closer together so we can hold that weight and really squeeze through the inner thighs so our feet are going to stay closer together maybe they touch or just closer as we press into the feet, we're gonna lift up into our bridge. Now hold here and think about releasing a little bit and then squeeze and squeeze. Keep the hips lifted, squeeze and squeeze. Here, eight, seven, six, five. Hips stay up for four, three, two, one. Keep your hips lifted, squeezing that weight. See if you can lift your heels and down. Lift and lower. Hips stay where they were as we squeeze. Heels up and down. Eight for seven. Six. Five. Keep squeezing. Four. Three. Hold that weight. Four, two. And one. Slowly bring the heels down. Slowly roll back down through your spine. Find that weight. From here, we're going to bend our knees into our chest. 
We're going to extend that right leg out, floating it off the floor. Weight in our right hand. Kick that left leg up, or you can keep your knee bent. Left arm is down. We're going to bring our right arm up and across. Bring it back down. Take it across and down. So holding your right leg off the floor. Left knee bent or straight and down. Take it across and down. Six. For five. For four. For three. For two. And one. We're going to release and switch out. So start with the left leg extending. Floating off the floor. Weight into your left hand. Right arm is down. Right knee can be bent or straight. Bring the arm across. Back down. Across. And down. And down, whether leg is bent or straight, left leg stays off the floor for six, for five, four, last three, two, and one. Slowly bring everything back in. You can release that weight off to the side. From here, hug those legs in close. And just rolling onto our left side. We're gonna kick that right leg straight. Bottom knee can stay bent. Moving into that right. Forward, bend, a little bit behind. Forward, bend, kick back. Six, in, kick back. For five, in, kick back. Four, in, kick back. Last three, in, kick back. Four, two, in, kick back. One more, in, kick back. Rolling through. To the other side, right away, left leg is going to straighten out, bending that right knee underneath us, lifting through that left IT bend, straight up and down, straight up, lower down, eight, down, for seven, four, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now we're going to take that leg, swing forward, bend, kick a little bit behind. Forward, bend, kick back. Forward, bend, kick back for six, in, kick back for five, in, kick back, four, in, kick back, last three, in, kick back. For two, in, kick back, one more, in, kick back, returning to our backs, hug those knees in close, massage out as you need to. Once more, you can rock and roll the length of your spine or making your way up to tabletop however you need to. As we take that tabletop, however, we need to swing that right foot forward. Finding a moment, just taking a little bit of a stretch here, softening the hips and chest. And if bending that back knee and finding a quad stretch is accessible in the body, feels good in your body now, feel free to take that for a couple of breaths. And as you're ready, you can bring that right foot back to the middle and finding a right hamstring stretch. Pull the hips back gently, folding towards the leg. Take a few more big breaths here.
Then, however, we need to return back towards our tabletop or just switching out the legs so our left foot will come forward. Finding that wide lunge so you can kind of open up the hips. Softening forward. Again, staying in a lunge, if bending that back knee, reaching back is accessible or just feels good in the body here. Taking that quad stretch for a few breaths. And again, from wherever we are, left foot will walk back towards the middle and moving into that left hamstring, drawing the hips back, gently folding any amount. Again, wherever we are, working our way, finding back to tabletop. We're going to move into the upper back, so sweeping our right arm up towards the ceiling. As we bring that right arm across our body, rather than reaching straight out, maybe reach a little bit on the diagonal. So you can keep that right shoulder away from your ear as you tap the chin and your right temple down towards the floor. Left hand can walk forward or can stay underneath us. Continue to press down into that right shoulder and that right arm. Gently find that twist. Maybe check in if you want to move the hips a little bit side to side. You can find a deeper opening by really drawing the hips towards your right. Making sure our left hand comes back underneath us to press down, to open up. And then we're going to switch that out. So left arm reaching high. Again, as we sweep that arm down and across, maybe a little bit on the diagonal, keeping the shoulder out of our ear. Right hand's pressing where it was, or it can walk forward. Again, maybe a little movement in the hips. Or a deeper opening, hip to move towards the left side. Right hand comes back underneath us to press. To lift back open, returning back to tabletop, moving the spine a couple times if we need to. And as you're ready, find your way just to a butterfly or bound angle pose, soles of feet together, knees wide. Finish off that last stretch here. So as we're ready with the knees wide, we can gently start to pull, chuck forward. Sitting ourselves back up, we're reaching our left arm high on the bottom of our exhale, twisting towards the right as that left arm drapes across the body. We can stay tall in here, or you can take a little side bend, reaching your right arm over, tipping our left ear towards the left knee, left ankle. If we're taking that side bend, coming up first, then you can unwind your twist. We'll inhale our right arm high on the bottom of your exhale, twisting to the left. You can stay here or move into that side bend, left arm over, tipping the ear towards the right ankle, right knee. Again, if we took that side bend, sitting up first, then unwind that twist. 
when you're ready, just kind of shake out. All right. Awesome. Great work, everybody. Thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.